I can't believe Apple's being so stubborn. Okay, I'm sure you've heard the term RCS recently, right? I'm almost positive you have, since Google is actively trying to guilt trip Apple into supporting it. But what is RCS? And if you know, kudos to you, but for everyone else, I need you to stick around so we can go ahead and talk about it. Now, RCS is an acronym that stands for Rich Communication Services. RCS is the replacement for the archaic SMS and MMS messaging that we have used for far too long. RCS was formed and created in 2007, and one year later in 2008, the GSM Association took over that protocol. Now, the GSM Association is the industry trade body that represents mobile operators worldwide, so it taking over RCS was a big deal. Finally, in 2016, the GSMA concluded on a universal profile. Now, this set of standards could be used by mobile operators, phone manufacturers, and software providers to help implement RCS on devices. Of course, one manufacturer still does not support RCS. So what's the big deal with RCS? Well, it allows for advanced messaging features such as typing indicators, larger file upload sizes, and end-to-end -end encryption, and more. And since it was first announced, RCS became Android's answer to iMessage. Both have very similar feature sets, but still differ in some areas. Now, be that as it may, even though RCS is Android's answer to iMessage, it did not have a smooth start, unfortunately. Currently, RCS is almost everywhere and on every Android device, thanks to Google's Messages app. After Google's influence in 2019, Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile finalized their cross-carrier solution for RCS. The program is called CCMI, which stands for Cross-Carrier Messaging Initiative. And with the exception of Russia and China, RCS is globally available and interoperable. And according to Google at their I.O. event this year, there are over 800 monthly RCS users. And yes, that's a large number. Now, you may be wondering, how do you become one of those 800 million monthly RCS users? Let me tell you right now, it's actually pretty simple. Just use the Google Messages app. No joke. And if you want to make sure you are using RCS, open the app, hit the menu in the top right corner, select settings, and then select chat features. And here you can see if you are able to enable RCS or not. But with more than 800 million monthly users, chances are high you'll be okay. Okay, so what all can RCS do, you may be asking? Well, the answer is actually quite a lot. A lot of these things are actually similar to iMessage, actually. RCS allows for video calls directly from within the messaging app, read receipts, type of indicators, and it removes the 160 character limit the SMS has. And this keeps from having those multiple SMS messages come through if someone decides to text you a dissertation. In addition, businesses can also take advantage of RCS. Businesses can use RCS to keep their customers up to date with things such as package delivery and credit card fraud alerts, which is a very important alert to get. Now, a lot of this may sound familiar to the iPhone faithful who love iMessage. RCS even allows you to send messages over the internet like you can with iMessages. Now, Google's RCS chat utilizes Google's backend as an infrastructure for this. This happens instead of sending SMS or MMS via your carrier's network. So for anyone who has unlimited data but not unlimited texting, this could definitely help out. Now, I know I said this earlier, but RCS chats in the Google Messages app are end-to-end -end encrypted, just like with iMessage. And I cannot stress enough how major that is. It makes it harder for malicious parties to steal or intercept your messages, unlike SMS, which is completely unsecure. Now, if you're wondering if you're in an RCS chat, it's really easy to find out. If you're messaging another Android user, you should see a little lock symbol next to the send button. And this lets you know that you are in an RCS chat and that it's end-to-end -end encrypted. Over on YouTube, you may have seen some of Google's attempts to shame Apple because the iPhone maker doesn't support RCS and it looks like they never will. Now let's be honest, Apple and its users have always treated Android users like second rate citizens. iPhone users think that people who use Android devices are broke or that Android devices are just extremely cheap and suck. The ones who haven't been brainwashed by Apple know the truth. Now this type of thinking is one reason why Google is pushing their Get The Message campaign. On Google's Get The Message website, one of the advantages they show of adopting RCS is ending social frustration. And as funny as that sounds, it's a legit reason. Android users are ridiculed, as I just pointed out, for being green bubbles. However, what iPhone users may not realize is they suffer just as much as Android users do. iPhone users hate sending SMS messages as much as Android users do. Nobody wants to send regular old unsecure SMSs. Now the problem is Apple doesn't want to adopt RCS despite the fact that their users are being subjected to an inferior messaging experience. And I'll leave a link to the Get The Message website down below. Okay, so let's go ahead and wrap this up. What is RCS? It's a messaging protocol known as Rich Communication Services. 
Why is it important? It is pulling users into the future and away from the archaic SMS and MMS format, which has fewer features and is unsecure. Look, RCS could finally give the world a cohesive messaging experience if Apple just adopted it, and I may cover in the future why that's unlikely. Now, I'm not saying that they should abandon iMessage, but they can utilize the RCS protocol instead of SMS and MMS for messaging Android devices. Now, I'm not a spokesperson for Google, but let's be honest, if Apple just adopted RCS, it would make everyone happier. And iPhone users won't have to complain about compressed photos, multi-part SMS messages, broken group chats, or the dreaded green bubble coming through on their screen. Okay, that's all I have for you today, folks. I feel like it's been forever since I dropped the video and I feel a little rusty, but I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for sticking with me till the end. Now smash the like and subscribe buttons and turn on the bell notifications. Look, it's free for you and it helps me and this channel immensely. And before you go, check out this video over here explaining how to get iMessage on Android as a band-aid for the messaging problem until Apple adopts RCS, hopefully. This has been Normal Consumer and I'll see y'all in the next one.